we'll start new chapter states of matter well the matter is related to physical forces and one of the important forces van der waals forces it is also known as intermolecular forces well van der waal is one kind of bond and it is the sixth number of bond which is very very weak in fact when any molecule is existing it has any one of the three bonds either covalent ionic or metallic with reference to this we can categorize molecules or substances into three parts metals which is having metallic bond ionic solids which is having ionic bond and covalent compounds which is having covalent bond but once molecule is formed with any one of this bond then molecules come close to each other and form a structure in this case when the distance between molecule is less than 4.5 angstrom or 45 picometer then we observe van der waals force of attraction and that is also known as intermolecular forces between molecules so it is the attraction and repulsion between interacting particles it may be atoms or molecules one kind of van der waals is called london force or dispersion force we take two molecules or atoms a and b they are symmetrical distribution of electronic charge around this uh, nucleus so there will be no dipole moment on a or b both atoms are nonpolar when distance between two atoms or molecules a and b is nearly 500 picometer then there will be some disturbance appear this is symmetrical electron cloud around nucleus but because of proximity this molecule one of this atom or molecule changes its electron cloud and position of nucleus this is instantaneous and here dipole moment appear on this a atom where electron cloud is found on the right hand side and nucleus will move towards the left side so there will be unequal electron distribution and that is that create temporary dipole on this which is called induced this dipole will try to disturb atom b and therefore as this is negative electron cloud it will try to attract nucleus of b and so this will change also and in b also you will find that positive charge appearing towards negative electron charge of a and electron cloud is going on in opposite direction that means b also produce polarity nucleus of b attracted towards electron of a and this will create dipole moment which is called induced dipole on b so this way both non polar become polar but they are induced and it can be other way also where on the a atom more electron density on lhs therefore induced dipole will be of b in this of this direction so london force dipole on atoms which is temp temporary force is attractive interaction energy is directly proportional to 1 upon r raised to 6 where r is the distance between two atoms or molecules magnitude of force is directly proportional to the polarizability of the particle second type of force is dipole dipole force between the molecules possessing permanent dipole moment this kind of force is stronger than london force and weaker than ion ion interaction because in this case only partial charge are involved for example hcl hcl is not ionic compound it is covalent but because of electronegativity difference chlorine become partly negative and hydrogen partly positive 
So more charge density appear towards chlorine which makes it negative. When you take more than one HCl molecules and you will see that arrangement is in this direction, in this manner, where Cl minus of one molecule attract H plus of another molecule and therefore arrangement of HCl molecules will be in this direction. Here we will find dipole-dipole interaction energy which is directly proportional to 1 upon R raise to 3 in solid state and 1 upon R raise to 6 in liquid or gaseous state. Next, dipole induced dipole forces. This appear between polar and non-polar molecules. See, this is polar molecule where B is negative, A is positive and it is permanent dipole. This is non-polar molecule. So, when non-polar molecules and polar molecules come close to each other, the negative charge cloud of B attract nucleus of non-polar and makes it induce dipole. So, a dipole is created in non-polar molecule and therefore there will be attraction between dipole induced dipole forces. Here, interaction energy is proportional to 1 upon R raised to 6 where R is the distance. Induced dipole moment depends upon the dipole moment present in the permanent dipole and the polarizability of the electrically neutral molecule. High polarizability increases the strength of attractive interaction. Now thermal energy. Energy of the body arising from motion is called thermal energy and therefore thermal energy is directly proportional to temperature. It is the measure of average kinetic energy. It is responsible for movement of particles that is called thermal motion, states of matter. Well, intermolecular forces keep the molecules together. Thermal energy keep the molecules apart. Intermolecular forces which will be weak in gaseous state moderate in liquid state and strong in solid state. And therefore gas can be converted to liquid, can be converted to solid and in this case thermal, if you go from gas to solid, thermal energy also having changed. In gaseous state thermal energy is maximum, in liquid state it is moderate and in solid state it is less. Therefore, solid can be converted to liquid, can be converted to gas, if you give energy. While in this case, if intermolecular forces, if you consider intermolecular forces, then in uh, solid state it is very, very strong, so that gas can be converted to liquid, can be converted to solid. With reference to this, Solid can be converted to gas, can, liquid can be converted to gas with reference to thermal energy. The gaseous state. There are 11 elements that exist in gas as gases. Hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon and radon. Physical properties. If you apply pressure on gaseous state, then volume changes. That means there is effect of pressure on gases. So that we can say that gases are highly compressed. You can compress the gas. You can change volume by applying pressure. Gas always diffuse in all directions and therefore it exert pressure equally in all directions. Solid, which hold the shape, it has a fixed volume. Liquid, it carry the shape of container. It is having fixed free surface and it is having fixed volume. Gas, it has the shape of container and volume of the container. It has not fixed volume. And this is the reason you can see 
solid, liquid and gases and the arrangement of atoms or molecules in these three physical states. Gases. Total disorder appear in this. There will be much space among the particles and they are having complete freedom for motion. In liquid state, there is disorder but little bit less than gaseous and you will find clusters of particles. They are free to move but with reference to other motions. <coughs> In solid state, there is complete order and arrangement particles are essentially in fixed positions and they cannot move. By changing temperature, it is possible to change physical states. States of matter Gas, liquid and solid And this you can see different examples. Gas if you fill in different container, it will gain different shapes. So shape of the volume, shape and volume of the container only. Mixing of gas. If you spread two different color gases in one container, close container, after some time you will find uniform distribution of gas. So gases mixed evenly and completely in all proportion without any mechanical aid.